Hello everyone. How are you? This is K. Good to see you. Okay, it's been a while since I did the live stream last time. I have been having the sore throat and um, I got the pain on my throat for the last couple of days or even like for the last one week or so even now. And as I talk now like this, you know, I still have some itchy and coughing kind of uh, strange feeling on my, on my throat and my nose also. I have also still have runny nose, but um, it's recovering. It's, I would say, 80% recovered. So that's why I decided to do a video today to say to hi to everyone. Um, I was going to do live, but um, still, I don't think I can talk like uh, 30 to one hour in the live stream. So, and since this is daytime still, and this is still in, in morning time actually, right now in Dubai, so my throat is much more healthier than at, you know, uh, evening time. And that's also the reason why I just decided to do a quick video to say, to say hi to everyone and also to share my analysis on trending Swiss franc pairs today. So, yeah, let me see. But I hope you're all also good. Uh, some of my students or graduates who have been, who are actually in different regions and countries, I got the reports from a couple of, the, couple of students that they also have like same thing, like uh, they also have like sore throat and uh, you know, uh, the voice changed and slight fever and it's been taking a bit, you know, quite some time to recover. So I hope you're all good. I have been taking lots of manuka honey and ginger lemon uh, honey tea and Korean ginseng and yeah, all these good stuff possible. So now I'm recovering, so please wait for me until I do the next live stream. So, okay, so now uh, let me switch screen to trading view and uh, start my analysis. So today, let me just share my analysis on the Swiss franc pairs because they are trending. And looks like the other pairs are not really trending that much this week. So I thought, I think it's better to focus on the Swiss francs this week. So here is the Euro Swiss franc daily time frame, and the price is up. The price is now above the Tenkan Sen. It has been supported by the Tenkan Sen ever since uh, 28th of February. The blue one is called Tenkan Sen, and the prices are above the Tenkan Sen ever since. But uh, one thing that was significant was here on the 1st of April. This was the day when the market broke the Tenkan Sen bearish. And yesterday, it went up bullish, and today is also bullish too. But this bullish momentum is getting weaker because of this Tenkan Sen breakout. And this is very important. I say this is bullish still. The Kumo is getting thicker to span above the candles, but it may not break the resistance of 0 0.9843, which is the previous highs. So um, let's see. I don't mind looking for the buying opportunities. And once it touches there, I can either take profit or let's see if the market retraces, I will just exit and take profit there. And in case if it breaks, you know, I don't, of course, I will keep following that direction. I don't exit, I just simply trade in the profits. So if I enter now, I want to see how the market breaks the resistance. And depends on how it goes, I decide whether I keep holding or exit or take profit. But Euro Swiss franc, since it broke the Tenkan Sen bearish yesterday or the day before, I think this momentum bullish is a bit weaker now. So this is also important to think about. You know, whenever you see the bounce on the Tenkan Sen, once it breaks, the buying pressure is getting weaker. That's the indication. And if you buy now, the potential pips you can get is 50 pips. So that's also a bit uh, small target in that regard. 
So we may have better pair, better Swiss franc pair to focus. So next one I wanna, I wanna check is the pound Swiss franc. Pound Swiss franc has been bullish also, and but again, uh, this one also broke the Tenkan Sen yesterday and the day before, just like Euro Swiss franc, and also it broke the Tenkan Sen uh, last week, 22nd March and 25th of March too. Before it has been above the Tenkan Sen, but these days it has been breaking the Tenkan Sen, so that means the buying pressure is getting weaker and selling pressure is becoming stronger. So now target is 1.1504 and we have a room of about 75 pips to take, 78 pips to take. So pound Swiss franc has bigger room than Euro Swiss franc up to the resistance. So, so far, pound Swiss franc looks be better. And next one is the USC Swiss franc. USC Swiss franc is also bullish, and this pair has been bullish, and it, has, it didn't break the Tenkan Sen yet. But the thing is that the price is very close to that resistance. We have only like 22 pips of to the resistance. But in this case, I don't mind looking for the buying opportunity because the Kumo is getting thicker and bigger. So that means the buying pressure is you know, still there and sellers not here yet. And this is not overbought. So I don't think buyers will give up and sellers, uh, even sellers come here to the resistance, I think buyers win the trade and it breaks the resistance. And we can tell all because of this thick Kumo here. So USC franc looks good. In this case, you know, again, I don't mind buying before the break of that resistance. So I mark USC franc as a light blue. Okay, and next one is ADC franc. ADC franc is also a trending up above the Tenkan Sen span above the candles, but this is risky because now, again, yesterday, the day before, the market broke the Tenkan Sen, and on the 22nd and 25th also, it broke the Tenkan Sen too, and um, looks like it's about to break. It, this is on the resistance now of 0.5922, but um, there are multiple resistances, and the previous support also here too. So this is really strong barrier. So in this case, it may not break. It may be range or it may be trace, consolidate for a while. So for ADC franc, I wait for the breakout to look for buying opportunity. Once it does, the potential target is um, 80 or 75 pips. So we can even wait for the breakout of the resistance and still expect uh, you know, nice running pips to take. But this is not the best to choose right now. So next is CADC franc. CADC franc is up also, and it has been supported by the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, and now it's well above the Tenkan Sen. And the target is 0 0.6830, and we have a room of so now we have a room of 134 pips to take. So CDC franc also looks good to me. And Kumo is getting thicker and bigger. And Chiko span above the candles. So that means this is stably bullish trend. So CDC franc also looks good to buy this week. And finally, Swiss franc JPY. Swiss franc JPY has been bearish. It broke the Kumo yesterday. And it's about to break the previous support also. The previous support level is here, 166.58. But since it just broke the Kumo, um, it's better to wait for the breakout of the support. But once it does, the initial target, initial uh, support would be, is found to be here on 165.63. And this is already like 90 pips or so, 90 pips of room to trade. 
And once the market breaks that level, it goes all the way down to 162.10, which is 439 pips down. So Swiss franc JPY also looks good to sell uh, in that regard. Before, in February, I was waiting for the breakout of the resistance and was looking for the buying opportunity. But now, the direction changed to, the, to bearish on Swiss franc JPY. So like this, um, when I check the markets, especially the trending markets like this by Ichimoku, I select the pair to trade in this way by looking at the Kumo shape, whether the price is you know, below or above the Kumo or Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, or whether the price has been supported by the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen or not, and Kumo thickness, and whether the price is near the support resistances and so on. So, yeah, and uh, let's see, um, I think this week or next week or in the month of April, we may see some lots of Swiss from pairs trending. So I think it's good to keep in mind. But this week we have lots of big news since this is the first week of the month. So including non-farm payrolls in the US on Friday, we have lots of other big news. So uh, please be careful. Before you enter trades, do not um, you know, before you enter trades, uh, please check the news website. And if the big news is coming up soon, I don't recommend you to trade because we never know which way the market reacts by the news. So that was my quick analysis today. And to just to say hi to everyone, but uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you again soon. So. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please press the like button and please subscribe because uh, my goal for my YouTube channel is to achieve 100K subscribers. So if you can help me, that would be great. So thank you very much. Until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, stay gold. Goodbye okay, for now. Matane. Thank you very much.